In this video, we are going to review how to chart on an ICU hold. So once you have a patient, we will, for example, use test Celine. We know that she is admitted. And once we are made aware that she will be a hold if she is an ICU patient, we would open the chart. And then we would add our same admission items. So we would hit add and we would add the inpatient hold in ED and save it. This would add those assessments to our work list and we would chart those as we would for any other hold in the ED that's an admission. We would then be able to hit the critical care tab on the right hand side column and this would open up our critical care flow sheet. Now as the nurse we have two options. We could either click the critical care flow sheet and then go back to our work list and this will put all of the ICU assessments as you can see right here onto the work list and we can just click them and hit document and document on these. We will probably be most familiar with this routine since we will be using the work list. However, you are able to go to your critical care tab and you can use this screen as your flow sheet. Up here you have the option to see stat orders and you also have the ability to open up new tasks and see the next task that is due. It's very convenient. It will just be up to you what view you are comfortable with. If you needed to enter vital signs, you would just open up that flow area and you would start typing in your temperature. You could click your source. This basically just allows you to do all the documentation from this screen. Same thing with if you had to do your neurological assessment, you would open it up and you would answer the questions and it would chart for you. This is the view the ICU nurses are going to use and it just will be preference of what you get used to. Everything is in time slots and they are actually labeled with how often they are due. So the ICU nurses don't actually do that flow sheet every hour. Every different category is different. So your vitals are every hour, your neurological pain is every four, and so forth. It's listed for you. What is really nice is when you actually have infusions, and right now there's none, it would open up once you clicked infusions and it, it would allow you to do your titrations right in this flow sheet. And then you can just hit save. 